Hi everyone, I'm Elise Mayfield and this is Sweet with Elise. Hey everybody, welcome back to Sweets with Elise. I'm Elise and I'm so glad that you're here with me today. So it is September and I declare it is the beginning of baking season. That little bit of crisp in the air, maybe, depending on where you live, but it's definitely time. There's probably a bake sale coming up soon and I've got just the thing for you. So now I could absolutely make a brownie by scratch and they're delicious, but you know what? Sometimes, sometimes you just need to go with your good old faithful favorite box brownie mix to do the trick. Now my favorite is Ghirardelli. You go with whichever one you want. So this is the first step to the recipe because we are gonna make caramel cornflake crunch brownies. So this first step is just to use your favorite box brownie mix or if you are an overachiever, you go ahead and make something by scratch using your favorite recipe. All right, so I'm gonna bake these brownies in an eight by eight pan that I have already lined with parchment and sprayed that as well. I highly recommend that you line your pan so that you can pull these brownies out to slice them. But if you wanna live on the dangerous side, that's on you. So I'm just gonna spread this out evenly in my pan and then I'm gonna follow the box directions to bake it off at 325 for about 30 minutes. So our brownies are out of the oven and while they are cooling, we're gonna get started on our caramel cornflake crunch. So I have a, this was a five ounce bag of, shout out to Werther's Original, chewy caramels. And I'm gonna go ahead and put these in. We went ahead and unwrapped these. This is one whole bag of those. And to that, I'm gonna add three tablespoons of evaporated milk. Now you could do this in the microwave. I would say you're gonna wanna microwave at like 15 to 20 second increments, stirring after every interval so that your caramel doesn't burn. But we're gonna do it old fashioned style over the stove and uh, just melt these down. Okay, so my caramel is almost melted down. Just wanna make sure that it is nice and smooth and there's no lumps or bumps. I'm gonna take my melted caramel and I'm gonna pour it over my three cups of cornflakes. Good old cornflakes. Does anybody remember the name of the rooster that is the mascot for cornflakes? It's Cornelius, in quotation marks, corny rooster. Cornelius rooster is the name of the mascot for cornflakes. Now, cornflakes were developed by the Kellogg brothers and it was hotly, hotly contested who should own the patent. And they were used in their sanatorium that was like a well, basically like a wellness clinic. They were developed for there. And before it gets too cool, I'm gonna go ahead and toss my cornflakes. You'll wanna try to be a little gentle because you don't wanna break them up too much, but it's inevitable that you'll have some that will break. Okay, so we're all coated. And now we're just gonna pour this over the top of our cooling brownies. So you're gonna get that nice, rich, chocolatey, chewy brownie with a crunchy, caramelly topping. Already sounds good. I'm just gonna smooth this out so it's evenly covering the top of our brownies. And to top it off, I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of flaky sea salt. You know I love a flaky sea salt to help offset some of that sweetness. All right, now these are gonna go chill for at least two hours so that everything has time to chill out, get together, and we'll come back and slice them up. So our brownies have chilled out for a little bit. They are ready for slicing. I've gone ahead and taken this out of my pan. You can see how easy it is to take these out now. And I'm just gonna go ahead and slice these. Let's do... 
gonna do nine squares. Look at those delectable layers right there. Yum, yum. And I, you know, everybody loves their different part of the brownie. Now I'm a corner kind of gal. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna taste test this corner piece. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Brownie, gooey, chewy. And then you get caramel and crunch and a little bit of salt. Mmm. These are great. And this is a wonderful semi-homemade treat that feels super special. If you enjoyed this recipe, and I hope that you did, please like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know if you tried the recipe. I sure hope that you did. And I'll see you again on next month's episode of Sweets with Elise.